Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with another subscriber requested video. So this is an older one. This is one that I've, I've had it on my list for a while and I don't know why it took me so long to get around to it, but I finally have. Today we're going to be talking about affordable fragrances that last. Most of us, I would like to say, or I feel like most of us want our fragrances to last I mean, at least like six hours you know, to get us maybe through most of our work day. Yeah, and anything less, I'm okay. Now I'm okay with four hours. If I can get four hours out of a fragrance before I have to reapply it, um, at this point I'm happy. If I still wanna keep wearing that fragrance, I'll reapply it. If I don't, it gives me the option to wear another perfume that day, which also can make me happy sometimes. But I know that there are a lot of people out there that like don't wanna spend a ton of money, but do want fragrances that are actually gonna get them through their workday. And I think I've got a great selection here of really, really affordable, in some cases, nuclear fragrances. So I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna start with one that I picked up from Victoria's Secret. I picked this up kind of on a whim during, not this past semi-annual sale, but the one before that. Um, this is a fragrance called Pink, Pink Gold from Pink, from the Pink line of Victoria's Secret, I guess. Um, this is described as being amber crystals and vanilla, which is what got me. And oh man, do I love this fragrance. It is like a creamy, warm amber and a sweet vanilla. And it is beautiful. My husband goes crazy for this fragrance. Anytime I wear this, he's like, I mean, he'll tell me 10 times in a day how good I smell. I mean, he loves this fragrance and it's an absolute beast. I paid $10 for it and this is one that I can spray it on one time in the morning and I'm gonna smell like this for the entire rest of the day. It's just one of those fragrances that sticks with me and it is just, it's so good. Um, it's one of those that I am so happy. It was like $10, very well spent. So yeah, I think you should be able to get it even not on sale. It's even not on sale, it's only $20. So it's still even not on sale, super, super affordable. And it's definitely one that I think is worth having. And it's definitely a really long lasting, very affordable fragrance. So anyways, that is the first one that is called Pink Gold from Victoria's Secret Pink. Okay, next, this is a house that just in general, their fragrances are amazingly long lasting. And you can usually find these fragrances at TJ Maxx for a really good price. Um, and even on like FragranceNet or one of the discount sites, they're usually really inexpensive too. And that is Burberry fragrances. This one here is just Burberry London for her. This is a stunning one. This one is, oh gosh, it's such a good floral. It's such a really beautiful, sweet, uh, kind of dense floral fragrance. I love it so much, but in general, Burberry fragrances are absolute monsters. They're super, super affordable. Like I said, you can find them either at TJ Maxx or on the discount sites for a really, really good price. And they're some of the longest lasting fragrances in my collection, hands down. Like they're incredible. I just think that Burberry fragrances are way underrated. Not only do they smell amazing, but they, they just perform like champs. And they're all, they all smell amazing. I mean, they really do. This one is so good. There, I, I have so many Burberries in my collection. In fact, I need to do a video just on my Burberry fragrances because I'm kind of obsessed with Burberry. Um, I just think that they're amazing. It's an amazing house. And the quality, the value for money with Burberry, I think is just so, so good. So yeah, if you're looking for really affordable, really, really good, high quality fragrances, Burberry is definitely the place to look. So anyways, yeah, that is Burberry London for her. Beautiful floral. Another house, now it's not this whole house. So some of these don't last as long, but this one that I'm gonna talk about is an absolute beast. This is Juicy Couture, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. And this is the second little half ounce bottle of this that I've gone through. And this is, <laughs> It's such a fun fragrance. First of all, it smells like Viva La Juicy, but with a ton of caramel in it. 
it's sweet and yummy and just fun and youthful smelling, but it's an absolute beast. And this is another one. You can find it on a discount site for really inexpensive. You can find it at TJ Maxx a lot of times. I think that's where I found my little half ounce bottle was at TJ Maxx for like 15 bucks. Um, they're really, really inexpensive. And this one in particular just lasts a really, really long time. I don't know what it is about this one. It's just really, really good. So anyways, yeah, that's another really affordable, really good performing fragrance. Uh, Viva Le Juicy Gold Couture from Juicy Couture. Okay, this next one, this is a Middle Eastern fragrance and in general, Middle Eastern fragrances are just absolute beasts. This one is nuclear. This is a fragrance called Velvet Amber Oud from a house called Rihanna. It's not Rihanna like the singer, it's Rihanna with an H at the end. You can find this house on Fragrance X. This one here, I think it's like, it's under $25, I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, it's, it's not a safe blind buy by any means. It smells very Middle Eastern, but it's also very, very fresh smelling. It's like fresh and incense-y and just such a strange mix of aromas. <laughs> but there's something about it that is so good. But this one, I'm telling you, is absolutely nuclear. You have to commit. You have to make a commitment to this fragrance because you need to want to smell like this for 24 hours straight because you absolutely will. This is one of the longest lasting fragrances in my collection. It's crazy. But I just feel like Middle Eastern fragrances in general just last forever. Like Shag Half Oud. Um, that fragrance is a beast. It lasts forever. I've got, I've got a handful of Middle Eastern fragrances and they all, like Latafa from Rogba, that's another good one. It's like a $20 fragrance and you can get it on Triple Traders, I think for like less than $20 for the fragrance and the deodorant. It's like spray and it's an absolute beast. I mean, they're like nuclear. They last forever. In fact, I should have gotten Latafa out, but just Middle Eastern fragrances in general. This house here, Rihanna, really, really inexpensive. Um, Latafa, really, really inexpensive. They're just, they're great. They're super, um, they're just really great performing fragrances that are not that expensive. So anyways, that one is called Velvet Amber Oud from Rihanna. It's a good one. This next one is an absolute beast on me. I have had people tell me that it doesn't perform well on them though. So this one is going to be, it's going to depend on your skin and how it performs on you. But this is a fragrance called Love from Sofia Vergara and this lasts absolutely forever on me. This is a fragrance that I used to be able to wear to work back when I worked 10 hour days and I was out of the house for 12 hours at least a day. And this is one of the fragrances that I used to wear a lot because not only do people love this, because it's such a beautiful fragrance, but it lasted forever, or it lasts forever on me. This is another fragrance that's like in the $20 range. Um, oh, it is so beautiful. It's kind of light florals It's and creamy coffee. It's sweet, creamy coffee. It's got praline in it, and that's really what I get the most. I get the praline and the coffee. I think it might have some tonka in the base but it's beautiful. I love it. Sweet, creamy coffee and praline. It's amazing. And it's a light, like it's a light sweet fragrance. It's not, it's not super thick or super decadent smelling. This is one that I can wear in the heat. I can wear it in the winter time. It works all the time. It, it works any time of year. It's just a beautiful fragrance, and this is one that lasts forever on me. Now, like I said, there are people out there that this doesn't last very long on them, but I think if you have skin chemistry like mine, you'll have good luck with this one, because um, I definitely do. Yeah, it's a beauty. So anyways, that is Love from Sofia Vergara. I love this perfume. I used to not like this bottle, though, and now even I even love the bottle. I think it's just really, really pretty. So yeah. Okay, this next one is, this one is like surprisingly really, really good for what it is. In fact, I sprayed this on my hand just to make sure 
and holy crap is this thing a beast. So this is a fragrance called G for Women Sexy Night. This is from a brand, I don't even know what brand this is. You would probably have to just Google that G for Women Sexy Night and to figure out what brand it is. I believe it's the brand that they sell at Five Below though. And yeah, I think, in fact, I think you can get this at Five Below if you are a Five Below that has like a good fragrance section. Mine doesn't, mine super sucks. But I have, I think I have seen people get this at their Five Below. Um, for a five, I paid $10 for it on Mercari. For a five or $10 fragrance, you guys, it is amazing. It's a it's a clone of, of Scandal by Night from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Number one, it smells almost identical to it. Like almost identical. Now it's not quite as rich and complex smelling as the original. I have had the original and I actually preferred this to the original. There's something about the orange blossom in the Scandal line that goes sour on my skin. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work for me. This one, it doesn't do that. This one is just like really, really gorgeous. But yeah, it's number one, it smells almost identical to Scandal, to Scandal by Night. And number two, it performs like Scandal by Night. It is an absolute beast. This is one that you can spray on and you'll never have to think about it again that day. Like it's crazy for being a five to $10 perfume. It's just really, really good. So this is the best that I found in this kind of a price range in these really, really inexpensive, like you can find them in Five Below or Dollar General or you know places like that. This is the best one like this that I've ever, ever found. Um, in fact, it's the only one that I've ever kept in my collection because it's just really good. Like really, really good. It smells just like Scandal by Night and it performs like it as well for a $5 perfume. So anyways, that one is called G for Women Sexy Night. It's horrible, but it's really, really good. Okay, this is another one that you can find at TJ Maxx. You can find it on one of the discount sites for really, really inexpensive. It's such a classic and it is such a beast and that is pink sugar. I just wore this one day last week. Gosh, I love this fragrance so much. I've been wearing this since the early 2000s and it never gets old. Like it never, it never gets old. I just adore the sugary, like the brown sugary sweetness of this and that's what it reminds me of. It smells like brown sugar to me. It's just amazing. But anyways, I think I picked this bottle up at TJ Maxx for $12.99. It's amazing. It's an absolute beast of a fragrance. This is one you only have to spray it on once and you're good for the entire day. Um, I do want to get the lotion to layer this over. Not that it needs it though. I mean, it's just, it's such a good performing fragrance and it is so inexpensive. If any of you out there have smelled the new red velvet one, let me know. I would love to know what your opinion is on it. Um, I really want it, <laughs> and I, but I don't, I don't, I haven't even looked up notes on it. I just saw the, just saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. So yeah, if you, if any of you guys have smelled the new red, vel red velvet one yet, please let me know. But anyways, that is regular pink sugar, such a classic, such an amazing, affordable, long-lasting fragrance. Okay, another one. This is one that really surprised me because when I first got this, it did not perform well on me at all. It's been, I've had this for, oh gosh, I've probably had this for two years now. Um, yeah, I think I've had it for about two years now. And after, now that I've had it for a while and it's sat, this thing is an absolute beast. This is from Zara. This is one of the Zara Emotions fragrance, and this is called Rose Marshmallow Candy. This does not have marshmallow, or sorry, this does not have rose in it. It's basically like blood orange and vanilla and something else. This is one, the last time I wore this, I was expecting for it to only last maybe three or four hours, and then I was going to be able to put something else on, but it never wore off. Like it was so persistent, it would not go away. And it's funny because I didn't want to smell like this all day. I only wanted to smell like it for a little while. And then I wanted to move on to something else, but I it, it just hung around forever. So yeah, this is an absolute beast. If you let this guy sit for, I don't know, some months, 
after you give it a good spray, holy cow, it turns it turns into a beast. I mean, for real. It is by far the longest lasting. Well, besides my original bottle of Rose Gourmand, this is the longest lasting Zara fragrance in my collection, hands down. And it's crazy because it's a Zara Emotions fragrance and this line is not known for being a long lasting perfume line. But yeah, this one is great. This is Rose Marshmallow Candy. It's like, yeah, I think it's like 1990. So a really good one. Okay, this next one is a Kim Kardashian fragrance. This is another one that is an absolute beast. This is Kim Kardashian Pure Honey. And I bought this last spring. And I remember the first time I wore this, I was like, holy cow, this is one of the longest lasting celebrity fragrances in my collection, hands down. It's so beautiful. This is honey and white flowers. And oh my gosh. It is sweet honey and fresh white flowers. It's beautiful. It's such a perfect combination of notes. And there's something about it that smells nostalgic to me. Like I feel like it reminds me of something. It reminds me of something from the late 90s, but I just can't put my finger on it. But yeah, I absolutely adore it, and it is an absolute beast of a fragrance. This is one that you only have to apply it once in the morning. It works beautifully in heat. It works beautifully in cold weather. It's just a great fragrance, and you can find this. I think I got mine on FragranceNet for, I don't know, maybe like $22. It was really, really inexpensive. So yeah, the bottle is the worst. I mean, it looks pretty. The bottle looks pretty, but it is the worst you have to use two hands to spray it because it's so difficult to hold and spray at the same time. But yeah, I do love it. It's beautiful. It's worth the trouble. So anyways, that is Kim Kardashian Pure Honey. Really beautiful, affordable, long-lasting fragrance. Okay, this next one, this is another Middle Eastern fragrance. And this is another one that I think the price of this has gone up quite a bit since I bought mine. Just because I think it's such an, uh, like a... I don't know, I think it's such a cult classic in the fragrance community now that the price has gone up a little bit, but I still think, I mean, if you can get it for under $40, I think it's an absolute steal because this is an incredible fragrance. This is Club de Nuit Intense from Our Moth, and this is a spot on clone of Noir de Noir from Tom Ford spot on. I have a mini of Noir de Noir and I have tested them side by side and I'm telling you it is spot on. You literally cannot tell the difference. It's incredible. It's a really beautiful, sweet, dark rose. Ugh, it's gorgeous. It's got a, a slight incense-y, like a slight incense vibe to it but just a really beautiful, spiced, deep, dark, sweet rose. It's amazing. It smells so much more expensive than it actually is. I think I got mine for around $25, um, but yeah, if you can find it for under $40, it's absolutely worth it. Um, it's a beast. This is one that you only have to spray it on once in the morning. You're good for the entire day. Um, it'll take you a long time to get through a bottle of, of Club de Nuit Intense because you just don't have to spray that much. Um, yeah, it's just an amazing fragrance. So again, one of the longest lasting fragrances in my collection and the value for money with this one is again, amazing. So anyways, that is Club de Nuit Intense from our moth. Okay, next we have an Outremer fragrance and um, yeah, this is one of the longest lasting vanillas. This is just the Vini from Outremer. This is an Eau de Toilette too. And oh my gosh, this is one, of, this is like vanilla and cotton candy. So it's a super sweet, it's a super sweet marshmallowy, marshmallowy smelling vanilla. And it's an absolute beast. I use this a lot to layer, but uh, sometimes I'll just wear it on its own. And it'll, it's one that I can spray. Now I do go to town with it. I'll spray it. The mist comes out pretty fine. It's like pretty fine mist. So I will spray like 10, 12 sprays all over and I'll smell like this for the rest of the day. Like I will never have to reapply it. Um, 
Sometimes if you layer it with a perfume, the other perfume will wear off, but you'll still smell the vanilla. It's just, it's incredible. You can find this, I think you can still find it on Anthropology for $18, um, but if you can't find it on Anthropology anymore, Small, Small Flower carries all of the Outremer fragrances. They carry all of the perfumes, all of the perfume oils, which if you get the $9.50 oil, Vanille oil, and layer this over it, like, I mean, you're probably gonna go strong for 24 hours with that combination. It will last forever. So this is, it's such an incredible, affordable, long-lasting fragrance, but it's also just an incredible vanilla fragrance. I just love it so much. It's just beautiful, sweet, cotton candy, marshmallowy, uh, beautiful, creamy vanilla. So anyways, that is Vini from Outremer, such a hidden gem. And then last but not least is another celebrity fragrance. This is one of the longest lasting, lasting celebrity fragrances in my collection. This is one that I only have to apply it once and I am good for the entire day. That is Ariana Grande Cloud. Um, Cloud Intense lasts a really long time too, but I found that the original Cloud actually performs better than Cloud Intense, which is weird, but but it does. But I love this fragrance. This is this is probably the only like fragrance with that Baccarat Rouge 540 profile that I am still enjoying. And there's something about this one. There's something it's because it's sweeter and it's smoother. And there's something about it that I just adore. I adore this fragrance. My husband adores this fragrance. Um, I haven't worn the original in a while because anytime I go to reach for Cloud, I've been reaching for the Intense, which I think I prefer the Intense a little bit more, but I love them both. I mean, they're both incredible. In fact, it's funny because I thought about getting rid of one because they're so, so similar. You almost don't need both of them. I can't bring myself to do it though. I love them. My husband loves them. I just can't bring myself to do it. But yeah, it's just an amazing fragrance and it's an absolute beast. It it performs just as well as the real Baccarat Rouge 540, seriously. Um, it easily performs just as well. You, I, I can easily get 12 hours out of this. This is another one that I used to wear to work a lot because it, it very easily got me through my entire work day and I could smell it on me. It projected all day like it's just an amazing beast of a fragrance um, it's probably yeah this is probably the most expensive fragrance on this list because this size this the 3.4 ounce bottle of this I think it's like $64 on Ulta um, yeah and I'm pretty sure this is the most expensive fragrance on this list but it's totally worth it and if you can even find a smaller bottle that you don't have to get the big huge one. It's definitely worth it. Oh gosh, it's just so good. So anyways, yeah, that is Ariana Grande Cloud. Again, this is one of the, this might be my longest lasting celebrity fragrance that I've got in my collection for sure. It's an absolute beast. So anyways, that is Ariana Grande Cloud. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are some of my favorite, really, really affordable, long-lasting fragrances. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.